Well, hello, fellow hunters, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Today, we're going to be covering the new Kulv Teroth Greatsword. We're going to be reviewing it in its elementless and critical element version and comparing it to the current Master Greatsword, the Wyvern Ignition. I hope you guys all enjoy it. We're going to go ahead and get into this now. We do have an attack up a large food buff, which I do in all of my videos. And for this particular build, we are doing elementless. So we've got critical eye seven, attack boost six, critical boost, weakness exploit, and peak performance three, airborne, non-elemental boost, power prolonger. Those are all side effects of the Draken armor. Um, now, the unfortunate thing about this weapon is it cannot reach the white level of sharpness with any amount of handicraft. So that is a huge negative effect to this weapon, but I did want to see if we could surpass its non-elemental damage by unlocking the thunder element, and we'll get into that in a few minutes. So this ele non-elementalist build is going to do less damage than the wyvern impact, uh, but all in all, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. So we're doing 422 on our first, 300. Wow, oh, we didn't even crit that time. <laughs> and then 606 without a crit. So let's see if we can actually get three crits on it before we continue. I'm actually surprised we're not critting all that much. Considering the amount of crit. There we go. 476. And 848 on the final attack. Now, if we had white level of sharpness on this, that would be significantly higher, but unfortunately we are not able to unlock it. Now, let's go ahead and go into the critical element build where we are actually able to just barely surpass the non-elemental version, but there is a caveat to this. Let's go ahead and equip this. And there we go. Let's go ahead and go over the build here real quick. Uh, this one does involve some decorations, and we'll go over it just a little bit. So we've got attack boost at level 4, under attack level 3, free element, critical boost, weakness exploit, and peak performance level 3, critical eye 2, and handicraft 1. Now, the issue with this is you might be asking, why are we not using thunder attack level five? That is because we get kind of diminishing returns with the bolt jewel, where if we replace any of our attack or lose any, pretty much any of the other stats in this build, the elemental damage does not make up for that loss. So running three is pretty much the best you're going to do for this build. If you sacrifice anything else like critical boost or attack, you are going to lose quite a bit of damage. Now let's go ahead and go into this. There is an issue here though. Our normal critical hits do, we'll go ahead and go into this for our first hits, 416. Now that is a normal critical hit. You can get elemental critical hits even without the critical element. Critical element adds about 3% on top of your typical elemental critical hit, but your element has to actually crit for this to happen. Now, just because you're getting a crit on your weapon does not mean your element is actually critting either. Now, this also has drastically less critical chance than our other builds. So not only are we going to be critting less, we are also not getting the max damage unless the element crits as well, which is very, very rare. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can get it. It's just, we're just not getting any crits now. So you can see already that this build technically peaks out at more damage, but getting that peak damage is actually rather difficult. And that's what I try and preach in a lot of my videos. Yeah, some builds can technically peak higher than some of the builds I showcase on the channel, but the damage over on time on most of my builds is going to be substantially higher. Uh, so that's something you have to keep in mind when actually building something out. Don't fawn over... There we go. We finally got one. 427 with an actual elemental critical hit on top of the raw damage critical hit, which is just a little bit higher than our non-elemental build. But you saw it took quite a few tries to actually achieve that. Now let's go ahead and do a full cycle and see what we can get. Maybe we'll get an elemental crit at the end, but I'm not going to keep trying for it. 152, so less damage on that one. I think I released that a little late. 811 without an elemental crit. I might have released that late. We'll do it one more time. 
So sadly, technically, this is going to be another... Ah, oh, I messed up. Another non-elemental greatsword build. Because quite frankly, hoping to get those elemental crits is really not going to be great. So that's 811. Now let's compare this to the current meta, which is the Wyvern Ignition. And uh, it's just going to be drastically outclassed. But I figured comparing these new weapons to what we currently have is a very good way to do this because then you can really decide if you need to change it up or not. Now, with this, we are using the same as the non-elemental, but now we actually get to have attack boost level 7, critical eyes 7, critical boost 3, weakness exploit 3. We did go down to peak performance 2, and we got airborne non-elemental boost and power longer, power prolonger. Uh, but thankfully, with this build, even with the sliver of white sharpness that we naturally get with it, we should be critting pretty much all of the time. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, 463. 507. And then a whopping 664 because we didn't crit. Well, shit biscuits. Let's try that again, shall we? We actually... I don't think we have to sharpen yet, as long as we get crits. 463. And the nice thing about non-elemental is your crits are always going to be the same, and you don't have to rely on hoping to get that elemental crit as well. So 957. So it is indeed still the king of the great swords. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this review of the new Taroth great sword. If you did, don't forget to share your support and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more Monster Hunter World news, updates, and content. And I will see you all in the next one.